Okay, let's try again. Okay, for this example, what we're trying to do is work out the area of this frustum that's left. So what we need to do is imagine that there's another little cone on top. And we've got these two heights. So we've got this little cone on top. So that's got a small triangle. And I'm going to say, let's call this height x of that triangle. And then the big one for the full cone, that's 6 at the bottom, isn't it? And this height, the height of the full cone, that's 5, isn't it? Because it's the same as that one, is x add 5. And these two are similar triangles, because this angle at the top will be the same in both. And then because we've cut it, this line is sloping. This is sloping at the same angle to the horizontal always. It's not changing. So these angles will also be the same. So that's how we know it's similar triangles. So what we do now is set up an equation. So you can either work out the scale factor or you can do it as one of the little ratios. So I'll probably do this one as a ratio. X divided by X plus 5 equals 4 divided by 6 times both sides by 6 and times both sides by X plus 5. And then we're going to get 6X equals 4X plus 20. Take 4X on both sides, 2X equals 20, divide by 2, I'm getting X equals 10 centimetres. This bit is 10 centimetres. So if I look at this as then one big cone, take away the little cone at the top to see what I'm left with with this one. I'm going to start with the big cone. So for my big cone, to work out the volume, I'm going to do 1 over 3 times pi times r, which is 6 squared, times the height of the full cone, that's 15. And if I do that on my calculator, I get 565.5 if I do it to one decimal place, centimeters cubed. And then the small cone volume, that one's simply going to be a third times pi times, if you go back up, the radius of the small cone's four, the height's ten, so four squared times ten. And I get for that one 167.6 centimetres cubed. So the volume of the frustum that's left will simply be the big cone, subtract the little cone, and I get 397.94, let's say 0.9 centimetres cubed. That's my final answer.